Hey everyone, and welcome back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. We're gonna be doing the bedroom, which is part of the Band Footage Volume 1 DLC. So, let's begin. Awakening. Clancy wakes to the musty stink of unwashed linen. Where the hell is this? Why is he in bed? It takes a moment for the truth to hit. It wasn't just a nightmare. That woman caught him and shoved something strong-smelling under his nose. Sleep well, darling? Our daughter really likes you. She wants you to be her big brother. Oh, now don't get too excited. Don't jump up and down just yet. You want to be part of this family, you got to eat like family. Mmm, that smells good, don't it? You eat all this and you can be one of us. Then I'll take those things off and you can go out and play. But you got to eat all of it. Smells good, don't it? Uh, I can go, wow, this looks delicious. I'm not eating that. It smells like shit. Or I'm not hungry. Get me out of here. I'm going with the third one. I'm not hungry. Get me out of here. You ain't going anywhere uh, until you eat all that. You hear me? Uh, 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 uh. You better behave yourself now. Escape from the room. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this spoon. And then we can force our way out of this uh, handcuff thing. Alright, and we're free. Let's go ahead and take this lantern. Now the way this is going to work, there's a bunch of uh, puzzles you kind of need to figure out and every once in a while Marguerite is gonna come back and you need to make sure the room looks exactly the way it did when she left otherwise she's gonna notice and bad things are gonna happen so uh, let's go ahead and start off here we'll open up this drawer and there's a note the same time as all other clocks and so that's our first uh, hint for one of these uh, puzzles if you will uh, let's uh, look inside of this and we can get a lighter. Uh, this drawer is jammed. There's no reason to pull it out, but it says a strong pull might open it. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. You can see there's a picture here, and then there's three spots for pictures, and they've got outlines for each. So obviously this one's in the wrong spot. Let's put that there. And actually... um. We'll leave it there for now, because uh, we're going to have Marguerite come back before that matters. So, uh, let's go ahead and come over here. And there's a trophy for finding all three dead rats in the bedroom, and here is the first one. So just pick it up, you don't need to do anything special, and that counts. Okay, next we're going uh, to come over to this clock. And uh, the broken clock hand we can pick up. And we're going to use that to open this clock up. Okay, and inside is one of the f paintings. So let's go ahead and grab that. And when we do, this clock is going to make some noise. All right, so we got her attention. We need to get everything back the way it was. We got a minute to do it, which is plenty of time. 
Uh, that's in the right spot. Everything looks good. I just need to put the lantern back on the hook. And get back into bed. And we can wait for Marguerite. What the hell is all that noise? And we still got 34 seconds to burn. I don't know if she's gonna take that entire time to get here because we're waiting. But she'll eventually come check it out. Just a minute. Hmm. Well, everything seems in order. Come on now, eat up. I made that just for you. Don't worry, I'll be back real soon. Okay, she's gone. We can get out of this again. Okay, so now I've got all three of the portraits, because the other one's over here. Or paintings, rather. And I can arrange them correctly. So let's take that circle one, put it in the middle. We got the big rectangle one right here, and the smaller rectangle right there. And that's going to open up that book, which has a sewing needle shoved into a voodoo doll. So, let's put the paintings back the way they were. And this painting back over here. And now we can put the sewing needle into the clock to work as a second hand. And uh, if you check the other clock in the room, it's set to 5 p.m. So we're going to do the same with this one. Well, I guess it could be 5 p.m. or 5 a.m. But uh, either way, 5 o'clock is what you're looking for. And bam. Shit. Who's making that noise? Okay, so you can see we have a note there now. We don't need to read it at the moment. Let's just put the bed back. Everything else is back in order. And we can put this lantern back on the hook. And back in the bed we go. And we'll wait. Is that you again, Lucas? I keep telling you, boy, keep it down. We still got a whole uh, 30 seconds. She is quite slow. Not very good at watching after prisoners, but there she is. Ugh, maybe this'll suit your picky taste. Huh? Has someone been in here? Oh, something ain't right. Hmm. Well, everything seems in order. I figured you still hadn't eaten yet, so I brought something else for you. Right, she's gone again. 
We can pick up this fork and the stove. And we can open this up. Oh, God, I love home cooking. All right, and we can get back out again. Now, when we opened up the bed, there was a note suddenly. And it's actually on the side of the bed now, so we can read it. Although it's not letting me. I think I need my lantern. There we go. First, death granted darkness to the man from the west. As the man traveled on, he gave of his flesh to four beasts of the earth. And when he arrived in the east, he was charred black with ardent joy. So there's another clue for us, and it's regarding the paintings again. So we need to arrange them in a new order. Let's go ahead and do that. So if you see here, there's a, uh, a legend compass thing uh, written into the wall and north is up, which means west is to the left. So it said the uh, man like uh, had his eyes stolen or something, darkness something. Uh, first death granted darkness to the man from the west. So if you look at that portrait right there, it depicts a man whose eyes were stolen by the reaper. So that goes on the left or the west in this case. As the man traveled on, he gave of his flesh to four beasts of the earth. There are four white crows picking at rotting flesh. And finally... And when he arrived in the east, he was charred black with ardent joy. It shows a man covered in flames. And the book opens to a voodoo doll. He's got a fork in his left hand. He's got a leaf on his bib. And he's got a spoon in the right hand. And that is a uh, clue for this right here. But before I do that, let's get our second dead rat, and this is really nasty. You need to use your fork on this food. Now why he decided to eat it and not just move it, I don't know, but anyways, there's your second dead rat. So just one more left. So, let's solve this now. So, if we look at our items, we've got a fork and a spoon. So, on the spoon, we see there's an apple. And on the voodoo doll, the uh, uh, spoon was on the right. So, the right needs to be an apple. And on the left, there was a fork, which has a snake. So, it's going to be a snake, leaf, and then apple. And we're in. Okay, we've got the snake key here, but we can't get to it yet. We've got a shadow puzzle here. It's called Medusa and the Serpent. Over here, we've got your third dead rat. Once you interact with it, you'll get your trophy. I've already gotten it, so it's not going to pop up for me. And that's a silver trophy. And down here, we got this... Uh, dresser uh, closed off or uh, locked up with a uh, board and nails so we can use our fork to pry that open and inside we've got some solid fuel okay close this back up and that's all we want to do in this room for now let's go back out here we're going to uh, take these paintings back down, get them in the right spot. So put that back there. If we come over here, before we uh, do this, we want to combine our solid fuel and our stove to make a stove with solid fuel. And we're going to plop that down right there. And then we're going to use our lighter on it, and that'll get rid of all these spiders. Oops, I decided to take it. Wrong button. Use an item on it and lighter. Ah! No. No. Oh, I'm going out of my mind. 
All right, she's alerted again. Take your stove back. Put the picture there. Everything that. else seems in order. Let's put the lantern back on the hook. And back into bed. And we wait. I'm not enjoying this, dang it! Huh? Now hold on just a minute. Oh, just my imagination. Ugh, why are you so stubborn? You better eat or I'm gonna shove it down your throat! All right, she's gone again. Open that back up. And we're gonna come over, oh, I forgot my lantern. Okay, come over here, take that painting back down, and we can grab this bottle and take out this corkscrew. Okay, put the painting back. And we're gonna come over to here. We're gonna use our corkscrew to remove this. Okay, and we can grab lantern hook A. If we come into here, we can use the corkscrew on this one as well. For lantern hook B, and we can combine those two to make an iron statuette, which we're gonna need for that shadow puzzle. Okay, now if you come over here, there's a note in this coat. January 24th. Marguerite was, was on the warpath again. I can handle her when she's yelling. It's when she gets all quiet that you gotta watch out. At that point, you say one word and she flies off the handle. Nothing for it but to wait. January 28th. God damn Zoe. All Marguerite did was yell at her some, and Zoe went and pointed a knife at her. Just pulled it right out from behind the dresser. Who knows where else she may be hiding them. I better check behind everything in the house, just in case. What am I gonna do with that girl? It's like she doesn't appreciate a loving family. Okay, so there's your hint. There's a knife behind a dresser. And it's this dresser right here. And we got the knife. So let's take it back into here. And we can use it to rip open this tape. Okay, put the lantern inside and now we can do the shadow puzzle. So over here we're gonna use that iron statuette we made. And let's see, how do we arrange this? I think I need to flip it this way. Combine those two snakes. Uh, right there, perfect. All right, and this next one took me forever to figure out. You actually need to use your fork. And uh, you need to get the forked end of it. So it's a forked tongue on the bottom part of the fork. And, uh, let's see, I'm really bad at moving these things. Just slightly, and then up. Oh, wrong way. Ah, I'm so bad at this. Right there. Okay, now, it's very important that you equip your knife. So have that equipped, and then grab this snake key. Okay, come over here, use the clock. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. That hurt me, you son of a bitch! 
put your snake key in there. And run! And we made it. Trophy earned like mama used to make. And there we go, that is the bedroom. So we completed it. And we got the rat catcher trophy for getting all three of those dead rats. So, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.